Yes, thank you for tonight. Thank you for today's meeting. Our God is worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be glorified. What a great God we serve. Giving praise, adore his name. Oh Lord, thank you. We give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. What an amazing God you are. Thank you for today's meeting. Today's warfare prayer. Thank you for today's warfare prayer. Oh, our God reigns in the affairs of man. Oh, hallelujah. He is the Thank God for today. Thank God for today's meeting. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be glorified. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Adore his name. Adore his name. Oh, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. You go ahead and pray every follow, follow devil that followed you to the place of prayer. Be bound now in the name of Jesus. Be bound every follow, follow devil. You to the place of prayer. Be bound now in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Be bound now in the name of Jesus. Every follow, follow devil that followed me to the place of prayer. Be bound now in the name of Jesus. Be bound now in the name of Jesus. Be bound now in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, thank you. Kalado zito paradaya. Embreka porado ziteke pravika. To the place of prayer. Be bound right now in the name of Jesus. Shalaga da da da. Be bound right now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, arise, O God. Touch me with a special touch. God, touch me with a special touch today in the name of Jesus. Arise, O God. Touch me with a special touch today. Shaliga de de zotoko Arise, O oh God, touch me with a special touch today. Arise, O oh God, touch me with a special touch in the name of Jesus. Arise, O oh God, touch me with a special touch. Arise, O oh God, touch me with a special touch today in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say, God, who made the heaven and the earth, visit me today with your mighty power. God, who made the heavens and the earth, visit me today with your mighty power. Visit me with your mighty power. Visit me today with your mighty power. God, who made the heaven and the earth, visit me today by your mighty power. In the name of Jesus, God, who made the heaven and the earth, visit me today in the name of Jesus. Visit me today in the name of Jesus. God, who made the heavens and the earth, visit me today by your mighty power. In the name of Jesus. Visit me today by your mighty power. Visit me today by your mighty power. Visit me today by your mighty power in the name of Jesus, O oh God of heaven and earth, O oh God that made the heaven and the earth visit me today by your mighty power, by your mighty spirit.
Kitobri eke fatema na bobo gadudu anduskea ragadudu skeporatas. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Say every stubborn power that have been racing after me turn back and burn to ashes. Turn back and burn to ashes. Turn back and burn to ashes. Every stubborn power, every stubborn demon that have been racing after me with full force, turn back and catch fire. Now in the name of Jesus. Catch fire, turn back. Catch fire, turn back. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus, every stubborn devil, every stubborn demon that have been racing after me, turn back right now. Catch fire, turn back, catch fire, turn back, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Apora Gotozi. Yes, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen, amen. I want us to open uh, the scripture, let's take the word, and then we go back praying. Oh, glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God. Remember today we are dealing with uh, divine stones. The stones of El Shaddai. The stones of Jehovah. The fighter stone of the Almighty. And we're going to call on these stones on the enemy's camps. We're going to call on these stones to destroy the works of darkness. Hallelujah. And we will take our case study from 1 Samuel chapter 17. Oh, thank you, Lord. 1 Samuel chapter 17. We look at David and Goliath. David and Goliath. 1 Samuel chapter 17, and I'm looking at verse 40. 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 40. And he took his staff in his hand and chose him five smooth stones. Amen. He chose how many stones? Five smooth stones. Who did that? David. David did that. All right. And put them in a shepherd's bag, which he had, even a script, and his sling in his hand. His sling in his hand. Now, David at this time was using the sling, and the sling is our instrument. All right, in their days, they can use the sling to chase away wild animals from their sheep, from their goats. They are mostly uh, agricultural people. So the sling is one weapon that could be used against wild animals to make sure they don't take the sheep, okay? David chose five smooth stones, put them in the bag, and he kept his sling handy. The Bible is your sling. As a child of God, the Bible is your sling. Because that is where the word that will change your life is. That is where the word that will empower and energize. That is where those words are. Your sling is your Bible. You don't play with it. David kept his sling handy. All right. In his hand. And he drew now the Philistine. All right, verse 41. And the Philistine came on and drew near unto David. And the man that bare the shield went before him. Verse 42. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him. He looked down upon him. I don't know which devil is looking down on you right now and say, what can she do? 
And that demon, he said, what can he, what can he do? Which kind of prayer is she going to pray that will free her today? The devil will mock, just as this enemy man was mocking David. He looked at him and said, look at this little rat. What can he do? Does he know who he's facing? He is facing the mighty Goliath. A demon must have been bragging against you and said, what can you do? You are just a baby in Christ. You don't know nothing about warfare. He said, look, I have been fighting wars all my life. What can you do? That mocker and say nasty things. I said, what can you do? What can your God do? But we want to assure them that your God will do something. Your God will mash them up tonight. Hallelujah. The enemy disdained David and said, for he was but a youth and ruddy and of fair countenance. Verse 43. And the Philistine said unto David, am I a dog? That thou comest to me with stage. And the Philistines cursed David by his gods. I don't know how many enemy forces have been cursing you and mocking you and saying stuff against you. They did that to David. And, and he said what? And the Philistines said to David, come to me and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air and to the beasts of the field. What a brag. Then David said unto the Philistine in verse 45. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword, and with a spear, and with a shield. But I come unto thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. Oh, I wish somebody can know the God she serves. I, I, I wish somebody can know the God he serves. That God David made a boast of him. And I knew as soon as David said this, there was a commotion in the realm of the spirit. I believe God's forces stood still in heaven looking down and say, who is that fellow that have provoked heaven? Listen to me. The demon, the entities, the forces that have been mocking you and speaking things against your God, the forces of heaven are at attention right now looking down from heaven and say, who is that fellow? that is trespassing the power of God? Who is that fellow that is mocking the Almighty? Who is that fellow that is speaking trash? The forces of heaven, the mighty angels, the warrior angels, they looked down from heaven and saw Goliath talking rubbish. So also they're looking from heaven and looking at that entity that have been messing things up around you. They're looking from heaven and they say, what? What is going on there? Look at that little thing. They are mocking our God. Hallelujah. David said, you are coming against me with your weapons, with your earthly weapons. You're coming against me with your necromancy. You're coming against me with your voodoo. You're coming against me with your witchcraft and all the occult activities that you have in your possession. I believe somebody is saying that right now. But I am coming against you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel. Listen to me. You are a soldier of the spiritual Israel. Our God is your God and he's standing behind you. He's going to fight for you. He's going to fight with you. He's going to release the angels to surround you to fight for you. Hallelujah. Then verse 46, this day will the Lord deliver thee into my hands. You might be thinking, thinking I don't have enough spiritual power. I don't have enough spiritual energy. You don't need to say that because one with God is majority. One with God is great power and strength. Hallelujah. God will deliver you into my hands. That was what David said. You should learn to speak spiritual words. When the enemy forces come against you, you speak the word. You said, God is going to deliver you to my hand, you wicked, nasty devil, and I'm going to squeeze you. I'm going to, I'm going to crush you. I'm, I'm going to throw you out. 
to the outer darkness. David said today, I will smite thee. Oh, yes, today you're going to smite the enemy forces. You're going to smite those wicked powers. I will smite thee and take thy head off thee and give the carcass of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth that the earth may know that there is a God of Israel. Listen to me. That devil will know that you're serving the living God. Does not matter what it looks, but you must know that God is concerned about you. God is concerned about your issues. God is concerned about your situation. And he is arising to back you up. Hallelujah. From the case of David, oh my God. Verse 48, and it came to pass when the Philistines arose and came and drew near to meet David, that David hasted. David hasted and ran towards the army to meet Philistines. Brethren, you don't need to be timid before that devil. You don't need to be timid before the enemy. They are making noise, run towards the noise. Let's see who we stay. Sometimes you hear a, a noise on your window and, and you begin to shake. Oh gosh, these things have come again. They're going to run me. Oh God. No, 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 no. David won't do that. Rather, David will run to that place and say, Let me see what is making that noise. I believe someone, one of these days, you're going to get out, open your door, and say, I want to see what is making that cracking noise on my window. Today is today. Today is you and me. Let me see if that devil will remain there. Sometimes they want to intimidate you. They, they want to put you in a corner where you will live in fear and torment and torture. Because hear me, most times they're not going to stop that noise. You think you're the only one that heard noise? No, no. I hear noise too. I hear noise too. That's a place I used to, to stay in Trinidad. And the people used to complain that there is a bed or whatever that will come and will make it talk, 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 all the time. And the people were scared. Oh gosh, what is this? This devil has come again. And they said, Apostle in this house is talk, 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 spirit. Talk, talk, the thing will be hitting the window. Talk, talk, it will be hitting the roof. Talk, talk, talk. I said, all right, no problem. And I said, what has that done to you? He said, we can't sleep well in this house. Because once we hear talk, talk, we are agitating, we are scared. I said, all right. I am waiting for that thing. And I was there. And suddenly, I had talk, 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 talk. I said, oh, is that the sound? They said, yes. I said, all right. So why are you bothered about it? Okay, let's go check what is there. And one day I went round and round and round and I said, hey, you spirit making the talk, 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 where are you? Show yourself. Identify yourself. You know, that's a military word. Identify yourself. Who are you? Identify yourself and it was nowhere to be found. And that was the end of the talk, talk, talk. I said, no, come and do the talk, talk, talk. Let's see you. David ran towards the enemy forces. He ran towards Goliath. He ran to meet the giant. You must learn to run to meet that giant devil. Don't you know that the things you fear most are also afraid of you? You don't know that? Even at the first sight of a human being, no matter how dangerous a serpent is, that serpent is going to tell because he knows that you may be armed and you're going to finish it. Yes, but for some people, mass sight of a serpent will make them run backward 200 kilometers per hour. No, you run towards the enemy. Don't let that devil intimidate you. Don't let that demon run you. David ran towards the enemy. Verse 49, and David put his hand in his bag and took this as Stone. Remember, he had five stones. But you took just one. Remember, tonight we're going to be throwing spiritual stones. Tonight we're going to be firing spiritual stones. We will stone that dragon spirit. We will stone that demonic power that won't let you be. 
We will stone that entity. David took one stone. Stone is very significant in spiritual warfare. David took only one. Hallelujah. He took a stone and slung it and smote the Philistines right in his forehead. Listen to me. The Philistine was well armed, armed to the teeth, everywhere covered. The chest was covered. The helmet, heavy helmet was covered. All the nose that was everywhere covered. The leg, hands everywhere covered. But there was a little space in the forehead which he believed nothing can ever find it. Nothing can ever hit the target. Even if you are a sharpshooter, you can't get Goliath right there. But unknown to him, that stone is going to be powered by the God of Israel that he defied. God needed somebody to use. God is not going to come down from heaven. Listen to me, people. God needs your prayer. God needs your presence. God needs your opening your mouth and speaking the word of command. God is not going to do it. He's waiting for you to say that word in faith and the angel will pick it up and God will power it and the target will be hit. Hallelujah. And David slung it and that stone went straight on the target and broke his call and down he went. The Bible says, and the stone sunk and he fell upon his face to the earth. Listen to me. God is going to give you victory tonight. You're going to throw fiery stones against the enemy. The powers that have been waging war against you, you will fling stones upon them. You will fling stones upon them. The stones of the almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God does not fail. He does not change. Let me show you something again before we pray in Joshua chapter 10. Joshua chapter 10. There was a man called Adoni Zedek. Adoni Zedek was a very wicked king. When he wants to deal with you, he will cut off your toes. He will make sure you are not able to run anywhere. He doesn't need to chain you. He just cuts off your toes. And he has done that to many kings and many enemies. And when he heard about the, the conquest of Joshua over AI city, he said, this man is a force to reckon with. And he formed an alliance, a coalition of some other wicked kings. And he said, come and help me against Joshua. I don't know the team that have risen against you recently. And they said, let's come together. Let's deal with this fellow that is always praying and making noise in this street. Let's deal with this fellow that is always claiming that she's following God. Let's deal with this fellow. For what? Just because they don't like you. They don't like your spiritual status. They gathered against you just as Adoni, Adoni gathered kings. In verse number three, Joshua chapter 10, verse number three. All right. Wherefore Adoni Zedek, king of Jerusalem, sent unto uh, Hoham, king of Hebron, and unto Piram, king of Jamut, and unto Japhia, king of Lachish, and unto Debir, king of Eglon. And he said, What? Well, come unto me, help me, that we may smite Gibeon, for it had made peace with Joshua. Do you even know that sometimes you, you, you make a friend with a Christian brother or a Christian sister, and that is the beginning of your battles? Because the enemy forces fight friends. Amen. And that is why you must have good friends, good friends that encourage your prayer life, that help your Christianity. Hallelujah. And then, when you look at verse number five, Therefore the king of the Amorites, the king of Jerusalem, of Hebron, of Jamod, they gathered themselves together and went up with their hosts. With their hosts. When they say with their hosts, is another great forces. Thousands of forces. I don't know how many forces have risen against you. 
I don't know how many wicked powers, how many witches are battling you. I don't know how many demons are combating you. But you don't need to be scared. You know why? Because the Lord is going to speak. Verse number eight. The Lord said unto Joshua, fear them not. That is the problem of the believer. They fear too much. God told Joshua, you look at Adonis Zedek, you look at the kings, you look at their forces, their armies, their paramilitaries, all of them together with all their weapons. Joshua, don't be afraid of them. You put your name there. I will not be afraid of them anymore. You put your name in the place of Joshua. I will not be afraid. Don't be afraid of battles. Don't be afraid of spiritual battles. Don't be afraid of demons. Don't be afraid of devils, witches, necromancers. Don't be afraid of them. Amen. The Lord said, fear them not. I have delivered the... Uh, look, God said, I have delivered them into thy hand. There shall not a man of them stand before thee. And I prophesy to somebody today. God is making you much, much powerful over your enemies. It's making you much, much powerful and stronger against the powers you have been afraid of. God is increasing your spiritual strength to damage the forces that have been fighting you and the forces that have held you down for years. God is empowering you to crush them. God told Joshua, I have delivered them into your hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse number nine, Joshua therefore came unto them suddenly and went up from Gilgal all night. Is today all night? Today is all night, right? Today is, we are praying in the night, right? There is something about the night battles. When it is night, the angels that are strongest in the night, they are around you to fight. Joshua made the move in the night. And what happened? Verse 10. That is our anchor scripture. And the Lord discomfited them. Oh my God. God scattered the enemies. God scattered Adonis Zedek with all the kings. God destroyed them with their, with, with what? With their end, with their forces, their horses, their chariots, their, their their arrows, their javelins, God scattered them. God discomfited them before Joshua and Israel and slew them with a great slaughter at Gibeon and chased them. Oh, demons are going to be chased away. Devils are going to be chased away. And chased them along the way that goeth to Beth Horon and smote them to Azekah and unto Makeda. And it came to pass as they fled before Israel and were in the going down of Beth Horon, that the Lord cast great stones. Can somebody say great stones? God cast what? Oh my God. God cast what? Great stones. Say it loud. Say great stones. God did what? Great stones. God cast great stones. Hallelujah. Great stone. He did what? He cast great stones. From where? From heaven. Stones from heaven. Stones from heaven. Oh my God. He stoned them from heaven. And what happened? And they, they, they did what? They did what? And they died. died. And they did what? And they died. Died with hailstones. Than they whom the children of Israel slew. God helped them in battles. God is going to help you in warfare. He's going to help you in your battle, the area of your struggle. Where the battle is strongest in your life, God is going to help you. You know how he's going to, he's going to throw stones from heaven upon those demons, upon those devils, those enemy forces that won't let you sleep. Those powers that said you are not going to go nowhere. 
God is going to rain stones upon them from heaven. And I, I, I used to tell witches and wizards, don't, stop, don't interfere with our business. We are dealing with demons. We are dealing with devils. Don't interfere. Don't come in between us. Because when witches come in between our fight, they get crushed. All right? We don't have challenges with witches. We don't have challenges with wizards and necromancers and, and, and astral projectors. You know how they get destroyed? When they come between us and the demons. Because our warfare is against demons. Our warfare is against evil spirits. But when witches, they come around and they say, we have formed alliance with these demons. We have formed alliance with these devils and we want to deal with you. That is when they get crushed. We are not happy when witches die. We are not happy when necromancers die. All right? But they are to blame. They are to blame because they come into the crossfire. Yes, our battle is against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness of this world. We have no business with witches and necromancers and astral projectors, but when they come in between us, we crush them. Hallelujah. When they interfere with us, they get into trouble. When they interfere with us, that is where they get into trouble. They can be doing their witchcraft in their coven. That is their business. They can be doing their necromancer thing in whatever temple they are. That is their business. But when they interfere with you, they get into trouble. Because God said, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. You are anointed of the Lord. You are a child of God. The Bible says, whoever touches you cannot be innocent. So when a witch touches you, the Bible says you must die. When a wizard touches you, the Bible said, wizard man, if you don't back off, you're going to get killed. All right? And God has warned every force and forces of darkness. He said, don't touch my children because when you touch them, I will crush you. God rains stones upon Adonizedek and his allies. And he stole them from heaven and crushed them. He grinded the armies. Oh, raise up your right hand and pray tonight. Say, oh God, my father. Energize and empower me, oh God, with your heavenly stones. Put your stones in my hand. Put your stones in my hand in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, put your stones in my hand in the name of Jesus. Put your stones in my hand. Put your stones in my hand, oh God. Kali Kato Zikopa. Put your stones in my hand in the name of Jesus. Put your stones in my hand in the name of Jesus. Put your stones in my hand in the name of Jesus. Put your stones, oh God. Put your stones in my hand in the name of Jesus. Put your stones in my hand. 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 Put your stones in my hand in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Say mighty stone of El Shaddai. Mighty stones of Jehovah Shammah. Right in my hand. I fling you into the camps of my attackers. Damage the camps. Damage the camps of my attackers. Yes. Spiritually fling the stones. Kali gada da da da. Fling the stones. Fling them. Fling the stones. Palaga dosia. Oh yeah. Fling the stones. We fling the stones. We fling them. We fling them. We fling them into the camps of the attackers. We fling them. We fling the stones. We fling the stones into the calms of the attackers. We fling the stones. Kabara to see Nagado Gadosh Bragadasanka Gabompo Rico Tazoda. We fling the stones. We fling the stones. We fling the stones into the camps of the attackers. Into their shrines. 
into their covers. We throw the stones of El Shaddai. We fling the stones. We throw the stones. And toss it parada. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. You are going to stone that strong man called Goliath. That strong man called Goliath. The, the, the entity called Goliath that is proven is a giant that is ready to fight you to a standstill. We're going to deal with it. Yes. Say, you Goliath fighting against me. With the mighty stone of El Shaddai in my hand. Aha. Uh -huh. With the mighty stone of El Shaddai in my hand. Say it clearly. I break your skull. I break your skull. I break your skull. In the name of Jesus. You Goliath fighting against me. You Goliath, strong man of darkness. You Goliath, strong. I break your skull. I break your skull. I break your skull. I shatter your skull. I break your skull. You Goliath fighting against me. You Goliath. What you are against me, you Goliath, whoever you are, whatever entity you are, I crush your skull, I crush your skull, I break it, I break it, I break your skull, I break your skull, I break your skull, I break it, I shatter it, I break it, uh huh, oh yeah, break it, oh yeah, break it, oh yeah, break it, uh huh, break it, oh yeah, break it, uh huh, break it, oh yeah, break it, uh huh, break it, oh yeah, yes. Oh yeah, yes, oh yeah, break it. Bring the skull, yes. Over your hand. Ankarakataye. Bragadodo gazugidomba. Pali bobo kadudu and doskito bra ataka. Nabraka to godo zika. Rabba bababa. Koko bakatetes. Naruka butokazuta mumpori katata. Ragatatata. You go lie at where you are against me. You Goliath to wage war against me. You Goliath, you spiritual Goliath. You demonic Goliath. You witchcraft Goliath. Necromancer Goliath. Enemy shocker Goliath. Hey, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I break your skull with the stones of Jehovah in my hand. I break your skull. I break it. I break it. I break your skull. I shatter it. I pieces it. Wherever you are hiding, it does not matter. Whether you are inside the hole, whether you are in the rock, whether you are in the air, you are under the earth, you are in the sea. Wherever you are, you wicked Goliath, you demonic giant, I crush your head. I break your skull. Hey! Kalaka tozoko marika boboka tuziko. Elegete kesekete paro papo. Brantos kidro katashkata. Palaka toziko pate. Maligandesko trekia. Bragatoto makatete. Pariko tozento. Prakateya. Narokato. Breka poratoshka. Breta. In the sky. Yes. Yo para. Break the head. Crush it. Break the head. Crush it. Crush that Goliath. Break that head. Pieces it. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Remember what Goliath said to David. He said, I will take off your head and give to the birds of the air. You know what that means? He bragged he was going to kill David. I don't know how many witches have bragged that they're going to kill you. I don't know the number of entities that have pronounced death and elimination upon your life. Sometimes some of you even receive prophecies. And somebody prophesied to you that uh, you, you're going to, to leave the earth suddenly. You don't be afraid. The Bible said David was not afraid. He ran towards Every negative prophecy that has been prophesied upon you. As I'm saying now, there's someone listening to me. You are, you, are, you are living in the fear of sudden death. Something is telling you, hey, you're going to die. Something is telling you, hey, you're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. It's a, a, an enemy demon, an enemy forces that is talking in your
It's not coming from you. It's coming from a devil. The Bible says with long life will I satisfy you. You're not going to quit here suddenly. No, you must fulfill your destiny and your days on it. You're going to deal with that devil. Say, you entity making noise in my ears. You entities generating noise in my ears. What are you waiting for? With the stones of God in my hand, I crush you. I crush you. I grind you. I crush you. I crush you. I grind you. I crush you. I grind you. Oh yeah, crush them. Uh -huh. Crush them. Grind them. You first. make a uh hand. -huh. You pop. Make it noise in my ear. I grind you. I grind them. Oh yeah, grind them. Oh yeah, crush them. Oh yeah, grind them. Oh yeah, grind them. Oh yeah. In Jesus' name, we pray. Kala ba 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 ba. Yes. Continue to crush them. Continue to grind them. Kaliga dodo zeketea. Continue to crush them. Parikate zekremakoto zetosh. Naregede de de shato kapos. Maligatata. Continue to grind them. Continue to crush them. Oh yeah, grind them. Crush them. Grind them. Crush them. Es. Pop. Es. Pop. Yes. Grind them. Crush them. Grind them. Crush them. Grind them. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Grind them. Crush them. Ramp. Crush them. Grind them. Loop. Eh. Eh. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes. Good. Boost. Eka. Yes. Uh huh. Grind them. Yes. Yeah. Grind them. Bring them, Uriah, bring them. Palagato Zikopa, Naragado Sipo, Bragado Siko Paragadash, Brika Folobagadosh, Englegada. We crush them, we grind them. Entities making noise in my ear that they're gonna crush me, that they're gonna destroy me, that they're gonna take me out. You entities making noise in my ear. I gather the stones of Jehovah. I grind you. Oh yeah, take it. Oh yeah. Powder, I grind you, powder, I grind you, powder, I damage you, yes, damage them, break the heads of these demons, crack the skull of these devils, break them to pieces, shatter the activities. Kaligadazo, baragadadadada, rabakoto makatataya, ragadoshito. Ragadada bumpu katu gazukaragadada Rabaka bumbo resa topakata Aha Yes In Jesus mighty name we pray Amen You see Adonis Zedek Was a principal enemy And he gathered Other enemies together in a mighty coalition, in an allied forces setting. I don't know the principal, your principal attacker might be your next door neighbor doing stuff against you. Your principal attacker could be somebody at, at your office or your business arena or, or somewhere you are living. And they connect forces from other parts of the world. They connect enemies from other geographical locations. They connect in a network and they put your name in the middle. Oh, I laugh sometimes when the Lord opens my eyes to see what happens in the realm of the spirit. Sometimes in some covens, they put my video there and they say, you see that guy? We want him destroyed within one week, all right? You bring up strategies. You bring up strategies. You, you, you bring up strategies. All right? We have to take him down. It, it's disturbing our kingdom. All right? And it's on, on hell's billboard, right in hell. And they put the picture or the video of a child of God. And they're strategizing. The Bible says he's hiding you in the hollow of his hands. 
Psalm 91, the Bible says you are under his wings. The safest place. All right. Now, from that position of security, you're going to damage the coalition of wicked forces. It does not matter what your principal enemy, your principal attacker have done in a network and has, has joined forces from all over the planet to fight you. The Bible says God rains stones upon those allied forces. That's the next prayer we're going to pray. Yes. You raise up your two hands to heaven. Raise up your two hands to heaven. Say, mighty stones of El Shaddai. Mighty hell stones of Jehovah Shammah. Mighty stone of the greatest God in the universe. Mighty stones of the Almighty God begin to rain, begin to rain upon the calves of my attackers. Rain upon them. Rain upon their temple. Rain upon their altars. Rain upon them. Oh yeah. Rain. Up. Rain of stones. Uh -huh. Rain. Stones. Rain. Stone. Rain. Stone. Rain. Stone. Rain. Upon them. Rain in their covenant. Rain in their altars. Rain in their backs. Rain. Right now. Stone. Rain. Stone. Rain. Stone. Of El Shaddai. Rain. 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 Right now. Rain. Uh -huh. Rain. Palagadada. Ask them to rain. Let the stones rain. The mighty stones of God. Let the stones rain. Marakatata bobukata. Let the stones rain. Oh yeah. Stones. Rain. Stones. Rain. Stone. Rain. Stone. Rain. Stone. Rain. Stone. Rain. Stone. Rain. Stone. Oh yeah. Rain. Stone. Rain. Yes! Let the stone rain into their camps. Let the stone rain into their idol houses. Anywhere they call your name. Anywhere they position your image in the billboard of hell. Look at them. Yes! Stop! Stop! Pull! Stop! Bring! Stop! Pull! Stop! Stop! Kopara Bopo Katusekata! Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You lift up your two hands. Let me pray for you. Father, in Jesus' name, I lift up your sons and your daughters. Oh, God. I pray by the power of the Spirit. Let the mighty stones of God remain in your hand. Anytime you open your hand, let the stones fly out. Anytime you open your hands and issue a word of command, let the stone fly upon the skull of that giant Goliath. Let the stone fly against necromancy spirit fighting against you. Let that stone fly against astral projectors coming to steal in your house. Let the stones fly against demons, fly against devils, fly against powers waging war against you. In the name of Jesus, I decree upon your life that the angel in charge of the stones of heaven will have a pile of stones in your house to always fling against the forces of darkness. The angels in charge of stone will carry stones and be parading around you. When the enemy forces try to attack you, they will crack their skull. Let the angel of stones go around you with bags of stones, with lorries of stones, with trailers of stones to fling and to damage forces that come to fight you in the name of Jesus by the spirit of the living God. Oh, thank you, Lord. You cover 
you covered by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Begin to wave your hand to Jesus. Wave your hand to Jesus. Say, Jesus, thank you for your stones tonight. Say, oh God, thank you for your stones. The stone will remain with you. That stone will remain in your hands. It's a spiritual fighter stone. You are blessed with heavenly blessings. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. All right. So um, today is Thursday. And um, Tobago people, you'll be meeting in the chapel in Bon Accord. Okay. I encourage those of you in Tobago to be present in the chapel. Okay. I'm going to be a... Uh, uh, broadcasting on YouTube live. And uh, it's different when two and three people gather. There is what we call corporate anointing, okay? So Tobago people, uh, always be there. You have a large screen there in the chapel and the speakers are all wired together and uh, the sound is amplifier, amplified very loud. There is always a difference when two or three people come together to pray. Iron sharpens iron. So those of you in uh, Tobago, try to be there and also on Sunday. All right, the Lord bless you mightily. And those of you who are not in Tobago, you'll also be able to catch up on the YouTube live broadcast, okay? We will not be doing Zoom today, we'll be doing uh, just the YouTube. And try to connect and share the links. Share the links. When you go back to to watch the just did, share the links. Share them. Share them. Share them. Encourage somebody to pray this prayer. Let me tell you, these prayers, they are not normal prayers. As you pray them, a whole lot of things will be happening around you. A whole lot of things. So don't pray them alone. Share the links. Encourage somebody to do warfare prayers. And the more you share the links. The more you comment, the more you are blessed. The Lord bless you mightily. Subscribe to the channel and always hit the notification bell so you can always be reminded when we go live. All right, have a wonderful, blessed day. Bye-bye. God bless you, Apostle. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Bye. All right. Thank you, Jesus.